Dr. Blanchard with Total Rehab, and today we are going to talk about knee pain, specifically knee pain that's related to osteoarthritis. So osteoarthritis is a wearing of the cartilage um, within joints. So when we think of the knee, the upper bone, the thigh bone, is the femur, and it articulates with the lower bone, the tibia. And between that space is the cartilage at the end of those bones, as well as the meniscus. So osteoarthritis is a wearing of that uh, cartilage, which sometimes, if, if it's completely worn, is referred to as bone on bone. So exercise can help in reducing symptoms of arthritis, as well as some manual techniques which we'll demonstrate today. Oftentimes, patients who have osteoarthritis of the knee have limitations in their ability to extend the knee fully. This mobilization can help facilitate that movement. We stabilize here at the tibia with my upper hand, and then we lightly glide the tibia on the femur. This helps to achieve full extension of the knee, as well as helps with the release of synovial fluid, which acts as a joint lubricator. Oftentimes, those who have osteoarthritis, um, it, it affects the medial compartment of the knee. This is called a joint gapping technique, which gaps the medial joint line. We're stabilizing on the lateral side of the knee, and the bottom hand is pulling laterally to, to gap the medial knee. Others have limitations in their ability to bend the knee. These techniques will show how to facilitate those movements. We bend to where it's a little bit uncomfortable, and then stabilizing at the foot, we draw the tibia anteriorly. One other approach is when the knee is bent again to, to end range, is we can apply a shear force by moving the hands across in this direction. In addition to the manual techniques that we utilize to manage the symptoms of arthritis, we also use therapeutic exercise. We're going to demonstrate a few easy exercises that are performed at home. Most who have arthritis also have or may have a weakness of the hip. So the first exercise that we'll demonstrate is called a straight leg raise. If you'll bend your knee, good, we'll keep this one straight. And now tighten your quad where I'm grabbing here, good. Keep that contracted and then lift the leg up to my hand here. Good, and back down. And let's repeat that. So I would recommend doing repetitions of 15 to start with, and try two sets. Good. And that's a straight leg raise. The second exercise is referred to as a, a hip abduction. So we'll have you roll onto your right side. Good. We'll keep your bottom leg bent, and then straighten your top leg. Good. And now the key to this is to make sure that you're not rolling backwards. Make sure you're completely on your side. So I would go ahead and grab onto the edge of the surface that you're lying on. And then with this, we want to keep the leg completely straight and bring it up to my hand. Good, and back down. Let's repeat that. Make sure the toes are pointing forward, not up. Again, do 15 repetitions and try two sets to begin with. third exercise to managing symptoms of uh, knee arthritis would be mini squats. So feet are shoulder width apart, good, and, and bring them forward just a little bit there. And then you're just going to sit down about a quarter squat and back up. Maintain contact against the wall and repeat that. I would start out with 15 repetitions and do two sets again. And then in addition to those exercises that we demonstrated today, whatever you can do to do a low load, long duration, for example, doing like a recumbent bike with low resistance, 
But getting a lot of movement at the knee joint helps with the release of snowmobile fluid, which again acts as a joint lubricator in managing symptoms of arthritis.